Hello, Stefan here with Liquidity with a video about the German verb halten, which essentially means to hold, and it's many, many, many variations in the German language with prefixes and so forth. Liquidity. The German verb halten is somewhat irregular. It is called a strong verb because when you conjugate it in the present tense, the vowel changes somewhat in the second and third person singular. So the present tense conjugation basically is ich halte, I hold or I'm holding, du hältst, so the R changes to an A, which means you as in first name basis, informal you hold or you are holding. And then we have he, she, it, er, sie, es, hält, and for the plural, we're back to our regular R sound. So we would have wir halten, we hold. Ihr haltet, you all, plural, hold. And sie halten, they hold or they are holding. And then for the formal, it would be basically the same as the third person plural. Just the S is capitalized, sie halten. You, sir, or hold or you, ma'am, hold or are holding. In the past tense, the A sound changes to an E sound, and in German that is spelled I-E. So I-E is not phonetically completely logical in German, it just represents a long E sound. So it would be Ich hielt, du hieltst, er sie es hielt, wir hielten, ihr hieltet, and Sie hielten. And the past participle is gehalten. So if I wanted to say I have held, I would say ich habe gehalten. Halten is very, very close in meaning to the English word to hold. And the verb halten can also mean to actually stop, to stop yourself or to stop something or someone else simply because it means to hold, as in to hold in place, right? And if you wonder if the English word to halt or the command halt is related to that, yes, absolutely. It is actually a loan word. It is a loan word from German. It can also mean to weigh or to evaluate. So for instance, the German sentence, ich halte nichts davon, I hold nothing of that, literally means I don't think very highly of that. I don't really have a good opinion of that. I have a low opinion of that. Uh, in English, we have that a little bit too. For instance, in the U.S. Constitution, we have we hold these truths to be self-evident or uh, to hold someone in high regard, right? So in English, we have that a little bit, but not as strongly as in German. The noun version of halten would be die Haltung, which has multiple meanings, such as a mount or an attachment, something that uh, where, where something is affixed to, right? It can also mean attitude, how you hold yourself, how you as a person hold yourself either physically or metaphorically. Or it can also sort of kind of mean opinion maybe a little bit, how you feel about something, how you weigh something, how you evaluate something, your attitude towards things. Another noun version of halten would be der halt, which is almost synonymous with the English noun hold, as in to, to, to have a hold on something. For instance, if you're climbing and you have a foothold somewhere uh, to support yourself. So it can mean support or hold, as in the noun hold. The adjective halt los means without any support, without any thing to hold on to. One very common usage of the word halten is when I'm telling someone to shut their mouth or to be quiet. So in German I could say halt den Mund or you can say halt den Schnabel or you can say halt die Klappe. Those are very very commonly used. And then there's some other versions of that as well. Abhalten means to keep from doing something. So for instance you could say Ich halte dich vom Lesen ab. I'm keeping you from reading. I'm holding you away from reading, basically. Anhalten means to stop, 
to either stop yourself or to stop someone else. Uh, so for instance, you could say, wo hält der Zug an? Where does the train stop? Aufhalten basically means to slow someone down, to keep someone from moving as fast as they want to move. If I use it reflexively, it means to stay somewhere, to actually spend some time somewhere. So in a regular way, I could say, ich halte dich auf. I am keeping you, I'm, I'm, I'm slowing you down, I'm keeping you from doing things. If I say, ich halte mich hier auf, I am keeping myself here from doing something else, from going somewhere else. That means I am spending time here. I am in this location for not just uh, a second, but for a little bit of a time, depending on the, the context, really. Aushalten has a couple of meanings, but most commonly it means to stand or to bear. So, for instance, if somebody says, Ich halte das nicht aus. I cannot stand that. Aushalten can also mean to support someone under less than ideal circumstances. Maybe that person doesn't really deserve it or shouldn't be supported because it's just a weird circumstance. Behalten is kind of a false friend. It does not mean to behold, even though it kind of looks like that. It means to keep. Ich behalte das. I'm keeping that. Or I'm keeping it. And the verb behalten also has a noun version, if you will, der behälter, which means literally uh, a device that keeps something, that, that holds something. So a container, anything that holds something, anything that you can use to hold something or keep something for later maybe, is behälter. Bei behalten has a similar meaning. It's a little bit different though. That means to keep something as it is right now, to not change it. Durchhalten means as much as to persevere or to keep going, to, to go against all odds or despite some challenges. You may see the German word Durchhaltevermögen, das Durchhaltevermögen, the ability to keep going, the ability to, to not give up. Grit in English probably is the most close translation for that. Einhalten basically means to maintain, to abide by. So for instance, with speed limits, you would use that word. Ich halte die Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung ein. I abide by the speed limit. Enthalten can be a little bit tricky. In its regular use, it means to contain. An example would be, der Tee enthält Zucker. The tea contains sugar. Reflexively, it can mean to abstain. Ich enthalte mich. I am keeping myself from something. Erhalten means either to receive something. It can also mean to maintain something, to preserve something. So especially when it comes to historical building. Uh, so for instance, the, the, the noun version, der Erhalt, is used very commonly with historical buildings or, or anything else that's worth saving and preserving for the future. Festhalten, to hold firm, to, to hold fast maybe even you could say in English, uh, means literally that, to, to hold something uh, in place, to, to uh, not let go. But it can also mean to note something. So there's a metaphorical meaning of to note something also to hold something firm for further discussion, for, for further uh, review or for further evaluation, something that needs to be noted. Haushalten, or the noun version der Haushalt, uh, is closely related to the English word household, but in German it has a broader meaning. So Haushalten means to, 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 uh, to manage, to uh, be economic about something or to man manage something economically. So for instance, der Staatshaushalt, the state's household, is the is a government's way of, of dealing with financial matters, really. Mithalten means to keep up. 
So if I say, ich halte nicht mit, that means I'm not keeping up, or I cannot keep up, maybe would also be a good meaning translation, right? Not literally, but what it basically means, or how we would say it in English. Unterhalten can mean to entertain. Uh, it can also be used reflexively to mean to have a conversation. So very, very commonly used verb, unterhalten. It can also mean, not very commonly used, it can also mean to support someone again, to basically pay for somebody else's expenses. Uh, with a slightly negative connotation, but yeah. So die Unterhaltung, the noun version of that, usually means entertainment, but it can also mean a conversation, a chat that people had. Verhalten is used, I think, exclusively, reflexively. I can't think of a good non-reflexive version of that. So sich verhalten means to behave, to behave oneself, how you carry yourself basically how you yeah how you carry yourself because that's also related to or similar to hold right vorhalten has multiple meanings i know it mostly as meaning to reproach someone about something basically to rub crap in people's faces like that sort of like 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 to hold uh your flaws right in front of you kind of for enthalten means to deprive someone of something, to keep someone from having something, to, to basically force someone not having something that they want or that they wish they had or that they need maybe even. So obviously related to enthalten, so we have two prefixes here, for enthalten, for enthalten. Sich zurückhalten, which is the reflexive meaning, means to hold yourself back in the sense of keeping from saying something that you would like to say or keeping yourself uh, from doing something that you would like to do, but you think it's wiser not to do that, to, uh, yeah, to restrain yourself, really. Zusammenhalten means to hold together, to work together, to stick together. Here's a common noun. Die Haltestelle, or more specifically, die Bushaltestelle, if it is about a bus, right, a public bus. So Haltestelle means a place where public transportation holds, stands, stops, picks people up, lets people out. You may also come across these two letters, this abbreviation, this acronym, really, uh, kind of an acronym, BH, which stands for Büstenhalter. Literally, the bust holder. This is a German word that's maybe not that common anymore, but it basically means bra. Here's another very common noun, das Gehalt. Basically means salary. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you like my other videos, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Take care. Bye. Leave some comments if you'd like to leave comments.